The Arctic DLC often receives a lot of flack for its small amount of animals. Being the first and the only DLC to exclude an exhibit animal, the Arctic DLC only came with four animals, the doll sheep, polar bear, reindeer, and arctic wolf. Many people weren't really big fans of this small amount of animals, and it really set the stage for all the DLCs to come. But what I want to do today is sit back with you guys and kind of talk about which mods for Planet Zoo can really increase your Arctic experience. Now, of course, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But there are several handy-dandy tutorials out there to help you guys out. But without further ado, we're going to get started and kind of talk about the mods that can really help you create a wonderful selection of Arctic animals. Number one on our list will really help seal the deal. Yes, that is for the Harbor Seal. The Harbor Seal, made by Tom, is a very beautiful animal and very useful animal. Harbor Seals are found all over the world, but I thought they would make their wonderful fit in this little section of the Arctic DLC over here. They're really wonderful animals and they're very common in like your Arctic sections in zoos and a whole bunch of other aquatic sections, but these guys will find their place in here perfectly. This one is easily one of my favorites. They have three unique models, all for male, female, and juvenile, which I think is really, really exceptional and makes a top quality mod whenever it's needed, of course. So I really do hope you guys check this one out. But moving on from there, we also have the Finnish Forest Reindeer. Our first real reindeer mod in the game, these guys are incredibly beautiful. Made by the lovely Monsoon, these guys are so freaking gorgeous, check these guys out. Many people often give the stock of reindeer a lot of flack, many people don't really like how it looks, but if you're looking for a more specific subspecies that looks incredible, may I recommend Monsoon's Baby over here for you. It is gorgeous and it does the job perfectly. Moving on from there, we also have the American Wolverine. This one I oftentimes forget about, but it's still a really awesome creature. Wolverines are some of the best predators up there, up there in the nice white old north. And I really do suggest you guys check these guys out, because they are so dynamic to build for. They can climb, they can scurry, they're just such incredible creatures, and such powerful creatures at that too. They're based off of the Binturong, and Jen did such a beautiful job of transforming it into this lovely little predator, so I do suggest you guys check this one out, but not as much as the Arctic Ground Squirrel. These guys are funky little dudes. Of course, related to prairie dogs and ground squirrels, and squirrels and tree squirrels alike, these guys are found all over Eurasia, mostly in Russia, but a few other countries as well. They're really incredible creatures, and I believe these are the mammals that can withstand the most amount of cold. I could be mistaken, I may just be making this stuff up, who really knows? But I'll tell you what, Phonetic, I can tell you the truth right now, Phonetic did a beautiful job with these guys. They're incredible, they're colorful, and they're exactly what you want out of the smallest condition on this list. We're not done with Fnatic just yet though. Fnatic also came out with the Marco Polo sheep and these guys are so gorgeous. They have these beautiful long horns and they're an exceptionally beautiful animal found all the way up in the north and they're just so gorgeous. I really do suggest you guys try these out because building exhibits for these sheep-like animals, these ovids, it's incredible to do, and it really helps bring a new dimension to your zoos. And they're just such awesome creatures. Look at that little tinge of blue on them. Really awesome. Moving on from there, though, we're going to take a little dip in the sea. The orca is easily one of the best cetaceans out there right now, and with Jen's newest revamp on it, it looks absolutely beautiful. Jen working with Buffsu, trying to make this guy move as best as possible. You guys can really see just how far cetacean mods have come. I really do suggest you guys check this guy out in case if you haven't even built for aquatic animals before. They work incredibly well and I really do suggest you guys try it out. And last but not least, we have one last gen mod on here. We have the Musk Ox. These guys are very iconic because of their inclusion in Zoo Tycoon 2. I know so many of you guys out there have played this game to death, and I know so many of you will recognize this creature in particular. Jen 
absolutely knocked it out of the park with these guys. They have a little bit of snow on their back, which I think is really freaking cool too. And especially if you're making an arctic zoo or an arctic section, these guys are a must have. Now, of course, I do apologize. We don't really have that many other arctic animals in, in modded form. Uh, unfortunately, we're not really there just yet with getting all of them out. But keep an eye out on the Nexus for when we'll start to get a lot more of these guys out, be it the Beluga remaster, be it the Narwhal remaster. There's going to be a ton of awesome new arctic animals out there soon, but these are just the best of the best that I've found, and I really do hope you guys enjoy that. So if you guys did enjoy the video, I really do appreciate you guys even stopping by to begin with. Be sure to check out all the lovely creators down below, as well as their mods, and hey, if you guys want to get started with modding, there you go. Here's your opportunity. Thank you guys, stay cool out there, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.